the big question is, why should you bother actually having a lot of paperwork if you have a lot of loans out there, a lot of business loans that actually will approve you with no income, no documentation whatsoever? So in today's conversation, I want to share with you a few hacks you need to you need to implement right now if you want to boost your chances of uh, getting a no doc business loans or a business loan with no income. Okay. So here is the overview. I, I really want you to first uh, clarify before we start the conversation. See, when we talk about a no doc business loan, there is some confusion in the public when it comes to those loans. It's very important to understand that there is no like there is no business loan that has no documentation. If they do. That means they're asking you to actually uh, link up your uh, business bank account to uh, to the lender system. It's very important to understand that there is no there's no free lunch, right? I mean, it's kind of it's kind of crazy that people just walk around looking for no doc business loans. I mean, what kind of scheme do you have in, in the game, boss? You want a business loan, but you have but you, you you're not able to uh, risk anything. That's kind of crazy. So I really want to dispel any myth or kind of uh, kind, kind of crush any uh, sort of. Uh, dream out there if you are just a, if you're dreaming if you think you are going to get a no a no doc business loan without providing any kind of uh, any kind of uh, so let's say documentation or any kind of uh, information you are just wasting your time and you are out of your mind right now i want to crush that myth in people's mind right now okay very important so there are low doc business loans there are no income business loans but in terms of no doc like no with n o if you get that that means you are going to link up your business bank account to the lenders system very important you got to provide something you got to provide some kind of information to aid the lender in making their decision okay so this is very important so when we talk about low dog business loans you need to understand there are different types of loans i will talk about that in the next section but it's really also important to understand that there are some lenders which actually specialize in this type of loan so when we talk about no doc loan no income business loan no no doc business loan or low doc business loans you are only talking about alternative lenders and online lenders because banks by definition don't want to play with no doc business loans credit unions in general they don't want to play with no doc business loans those institutions are risk averse by definition in other words they are really trying to stay from anything risky anything subprime let's talk about the typology boss i, I hope that you're following me you're following me, me so far in this conversation by the way welcome back to the show it's really a pleasure to have you here so when we talk about business loans no income, no doc, low doc. There are things you need to be, be clear about. Okay. So what are the types of no doc or low doc business loans you need to think about? So you have short term loans. You have merchant cash advance, cash advances. Okay. And uh, you have uh, invoice factory. You have uh, invoice, uh, invoice uh, financing. You have also uh, you have a constellation of loans but let me just uh, quickly explain to you what kind of what kinds of loans are available when we talk about no doc now when we talk about strictly no doc business loans as i as i explained earlier either you link up your business bank account to uh, the lender system or you go to you go into what we call a merchant cash advance even a merchant cash advance the lender wants to see your credit card statements your your electronic sales they want to see something they have to see something okay and sometimes we'll ask you to link up your account to their to your merchant account okay now what about short-term loans short-term no doc or low doc or no income loans those are possible yes but sometimes they will ask you to actually repay the loan within a short period of time so they're not going to give you five years or seven years because the because the lender doesn't know what's going to happen to your business seven years from now so they're trying to cover their asses too remember they're trying to cover their asses so it's important to understand that for them it's it's all about risk mitigation it's all about risk tracking it's all about risk monitoring so they're thinking hey listen if we get if we give this business a no doc or a low doc or no income business loan what do we actually are exposing ourselves to that's the big question a lender will ask will, they, will, they will ask first before actually granting the loan so but you can actually get a short-term loan on a no doc or low doc or no income basis that's for sure you can actually also get a merchant cash advance so when we talk about a merchant cash advance what is that so a merchant cash advance works differently than other types of financing so so when you are thinking so the thing here is that businesses 
will receive funding in a lump sum and then are required to, to pay back the advance with a portion of their daily sales, typically credit card sales, okay, or even debit card sales for that matter. So, so to ensure that you are able to repay uh, the, the, the MCA, some lenders may request access to your bank account, again, talking about access to your bank account, so again, while others may require a few months of bank statements. So, but merchant cash advances are an option for businesses with poor credits or those that need urgent funding. So this is really important to really think about that. Another type of uh, no doc or low doc or no income business funding is a line of credit. By the way, I want to quickly remind you to this topic. I'm just sharing with you business loans, no income, no doc, low doc hacks. The hacks you got to really clear. You have a yeah. You, you have to understand, okay? And it's really important to understand that when we talk about the, the different types of loans that are possible, you remember that there are a lot of players that you, you need to think about. You have reliant funding. You have can capital you have a loan builder a paypal service you have on deck capital you have uh, blue vine you have Funbox. now blue vine is kind of a cool when it comes to uh blue vine and Funbox for that matter are kind of cool when it comes to i would say business lines of credit no income or low doc l-o-w not no doc so the thing is with blue vine and on deck and uh, not on deck blue vine and uh fun box they want you to have some kind of documentation so the documentation here is low low documentation low doc okay so they want you to have something so they will ask you maybe for for your business revenue statement your income statement they, they might ask you for a business plan they might ask you for uh, for some projected financials okay so but the thing is uh they, they will grant you something blue vine and fun box for that matter blue vine actually is more generous when it comes to a low doc or no income business lines of credit they will grant you up to a quarter of a million whereas uh, for a fund box they actually will cap everything at 150 now the thing is that for for those two players the uh, the repayment window is very limited you have to understand anytime you start thinking about no income business loans or low doc business loans that you are exposing your you're exposing yourself and your business to a shorter repayment window here so the maximum one year and in some very rare cases they will go to 18 months okay but it this is very rare so when we talk about no doc and low doc or no income business loans don't expect to have a five-year loan repayment window it ain't gonna happen it ain't gonna happen okay so it's important also to think about invoice financing that's another option that you have that is a low doc or or no income okay invoice financing allows your business to borrow money by providing you with customer invoices so as part of the loan agreement you will pay a portion of those outstanding invoices once the customer has paid them okay and you also have invoice factory which is also actually another form of business of uh, accounts receivable financing there are slight differences but long story short you do have the opportunity to get a loan with without providing too much paperwork let's now talk about the pros and cons of a low doc no doc or no income business loans because you got to have a clear idea okay before you actually get yourself into this uh, sort of uh in sort of a mishmash you need to have a, a a clear a clearer idea of what we're talking about so let's talk about the pros pros you receive funding more quickly than traditional loans you apply for loans without extensive documentation and lenders may be more likely to work with bad credit what about the cons here higher interest rates and more unfavorable repayment terms they may require granting access to business accounts or software, and they often have lower funding amounts than traditional loans. Now, let me let me dig a little deeper here because I really want to explain all the pros and all the cons so you have a clearer idea here. So about the pros here, one thing you need to understand here is that, you know, when we talk about no doc or low doc or no income business loans, I've already established the fact that you're not going to get those loans at traditional banks. You're not going to get those loans at traditional credit unions. You are more likely to get those loans at what? Where? Talk to me. Talk to me. Online lenders, right? Alternative lenders. So you, you're going to have 
by definition, an online application process. So basically, they will actually will give you a one-page application a page where you just go there, you put in, you put in all your info, and they'll get back to you. They'll call you, they'll contact you, maybe after one day or maybe after a few hours, because those lenders they, they are they, they are they are hungry, they are starving for no business. So they'll they'll reach out to you, but they'll charge you like a pretty high APR. They'll be hey, listen, it is what it is. But with with, with those lenders, the cool thing is that they are faster. They give you. They give you uh, your funds, the release funds real fast. This is really good. And uh, so those are the, the pros that you really want. I want you to think about, okay? So you're applying basically for loans without extensive documentation, okay? What about the cons here? Let's just dig a little deeper so we have a clear idea what we're speaking, what we are actually getting ourselves into. One thing I want you to be, one, one thing I want you to be clear for you is that you're going to have to expose yourself to higher interest rates. If you don't care about higher interest rates, then it's okay. You also will have to deal with more unfavorable repayment terms. I'm talking about six months repayment terms. I'm talking about daily payments or like the frequency might be uh, very, very uh, be, be high, right? Repaying them daily over six months. Think about it. Every day money is taken, is taken out of your account for six months. This can be disru disruptive for your for your liquidity, but if you're comfortable with that, hey, listen, just 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 do your thing, and you might also have to pay over uh, over over a short period of time. They may ask you to give you access to their software, to your software, by the way, to your business software, to your accounting software, because that's what they care about. They care about your financials, or they can ask you to give them access to your business bank accounts. So those are important things to think about. Now, let's talk about the lenders that like the players in this industry. Okay, by the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a convo about what? We're having a convo about uh, business loans, no income, no doc, no low doc, and no doc. Okay, all the hacks you need to know so that you are basically applying real quick and you are getting the loan that you need and deserve, boss, that you need and deserve. So, I've already established the fact that don't even dream about having banks or credit credit unions supporting you in this journey of a no doc or low doc business loans you're wasting your time and it's, it's just yeah you will be very disappointed so don't go that route if you're sitting there just listen to me right now you're thinking hey listen where can i get a low doc business loans where can i get a no income business loan where can i get a no doc business loan I just want you to cross off your list, banks and credit unions. And then now you want to move on to the, the juicy part, the alternative lenders, the online lenders. Those are the two categories of lenders who will take care of you. They'll take care of you. Not a problem. So when we talk about online lenders, most of them are fintechs. Those are the, 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 the newest players, the newest kids on the blocks. You're thinking about the blue vine of the world, the fun box of the world, the on deck capital of the world. Okay, the cabbage of the world. Cabbage was bought was actually bought over by American Express not long ago. But hey, listen, it is what it is. So those are so online lenders are there are fintech players who are affiliated with traditional banks. In other words, they get their cash. They actually get the, their money from a, a group of investors or, or banks, including banks. Okay, and then you have on the other side you have uh, alternative lenders, and those those lenders those players they are hardcore players. They will take any risk, you know, they, they, they don't really care, but they do care about the APR. They, they care about high APR. So those are the, the, play, the players I want you to really understand. So those players, those alternative lenders, they will take shake your businesses on. They don't care about if you have bad credit, you have crappy credit, you have poor credit, they'll work with you. If you have filed for bankruptcy like 1,000 times in your life, they will still work with you. Those alternative lenders, they'll, they'll work with you. Now, they'll charge you. They'll charge you crazy high APR. Though. They'll just charge the hell out of you in terms of APR. But hey, listen, if you're willing to stomach the the the, the APR, that crazily high APR, then you then you find yourself a lender. Okay, so this is really important to keep that in mind. Always very important. Let's talk about the paperwork here, boss. So we're just you're just sitting there and, and saying, okay. I'm looking for a no doc business loan. What are the paper? What is the paperwork required? Well, if you have a no doc, no N O doc business loan, that means by definition there is no paperwork. Okay, we have established that. 
But the only thing is, as I've said before, there's no truly, there's truly no doc business loan. If you find a loan that is asking you for no documentation, it means you're going to have to uh, plug in into the lender system, your accounting software or and or your business bank account. That's what it is. Because they got to monitor something. I mean, you think there is free lunch that somebody's going to give you some free cash and you or you in return are not giving anything back. That doesn't happen. Okay, let's get real here. Okay, we're not we're not kids. We're not playing. We're not just having we're having a serious conversation here. All right. So that's one. If you're looking for a low doc business loans, L-O-W, that means that you might have to provide, let's say, uh, you know, a limited type of uh, type of uh, documentation. And uh, they will ask you, the lender might ask you to have a business, your business plan, your business financials. This could be uh, either actual or projected. And they might ask you also for your for a loan application that shows everything about your business, like like you're you're legit that you have your your licenses and all that kind of stuff. That's for a low doc. Now, if you're looking for a no income business loan, the requirements in terms of paperwork are more are stricter. They are more stringent. You're not going to provide anything regarding your income. That's true, but the lender will ask you to have a business to show a business plan. To show uh, your, your business tax returns and your personal tax returns for that matter. So we're talking about your 1065, 11, 20 years, 11, 20, in addition to your 1040. The lender will ask you to provide your business plan. I've said this before, but you, to provide also your financial projections and financial statements. Okay, so it doesn't. You don't have to provide an, a PNL per se, but you got to provide financial projections. Projections. Okay, and they will ask you for 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 resumes of uh, the, the company founders. They, they might ask for things like articles of incorporation. If you're a C Corp or S Corp, they might ask for articles of organization. If you're an LC, LP or LP or LC, it doesn't really matter depending on the city where you are incorporated at. So those are really important. And so you gotta be clear about those before you even apply for the uh, those type of loans. So here is the decision for you, okay? So the question is, should you take a no doc, a low doc, or a no income business loan? If you're sitting there listening to me right now, boss, grandpa, grandma, mom, dad, uncle, aunt, dad, mom, sis, bro, daughter, son, if you're listening to me right now, you gotta ask yourself, is this good for me? Well, this is only good for you if you don't have no other option ideally you always want to get your business loan from a traditional bank like a traditional financial institution we're speaking about a bank or a credit union and it doesn't matter if the bank is a national local state or the credit union is a national state or local doesn't really matter as long as it's a bank you know obviously the paperwork take is longer the paperwork takes longer the application process is longer they will not release the funds the same day for you if you have if you always have an option go that route go that route because those institutions are you know they are regulated and uh, the uh, probability of scam is kind of low but when, when we talk about alternative lenders or online lenders online lenders are a little better but when we talk about alternative lenders you have the probability of scammers in that category it happens but the thing is if you have poor credit score if you have uh, your business accounting systems are not really organized you have no idea or you just have like some kind of a like you have a business that's a, that's legit but you you're not really properly following monitoring the business if you if you are in that category then you might want to uh, apply at a at an online lender or at a at an alternative lender those in that case, yes, I would say you should take a no doc or low doc or no income business loan. As long as you're comfortable stomaching, you're comfortable absorbing the high APR, you're comfortable working with the shorter repayment window, comfortable working with the shorter, the, the, the higher frequency of repayment. If you're comfortable with those, then yeah, go ahead and just uh, apply for your loan at those institutions because yeah this is the the only alternative you have anyway
Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just giving you a few hacks here and there about business loans with no income, with low doc, with no doc. Okay. So I gave you an overview. I gave you, I spoke to you about the topology of loans. I spoke about the pros and cons, things you have to have a clear idea about. I spoke about the lenders you need to be uh, to be aware of. I spoke about the paperwork that is needed if you are looking for a no doc, a low doc business loans. I gave you some kind of some kind of uh, pointers when it when it help when it comes to your decision making process. Very important. I will see you next time. Until then, remember stay marvelous.